Take us away, Vince. Take us very far. Take us really far away. The red planet, Mars. Ooh. That's right. It, it is, you know, our six day outlook is all about the sun, but let's talk about something else. And that is Mars. Should be kind of interesting coming up. Uh, this image is courtesy of the Hubble Space Telescope. And the Hubble T Space Telescope in orbit around the Earth, so it's away from the interference of the Earth's atmosphere, really has a chance to image distant stars and galaxies, but also images the planets. And brought us this one from Mars not that long ago. Well, the interesting thing about the red planet is on May 30th, Mars will be closest to Earth. In fact, as close as it's been since 2005, about every 26 months, Earth and Mars are at their closest to each other. And this particular uh, pass on May 30th will be fairly close. Now, keep in mind, it's still 46.8 million miles from Earth. It'll still appear as a reddish speck, like a star-like object in the sky. The reason I bring this up is that will guarantee you that between now and May 30th, and maybe even beyond that, on Facebook in particular and other social media outlets, you will see proclamations that Mars is as close as it's ever been and will appear the size of the moon in the sky. It's a Mars hoax that's been going on since 2003. So no, none of that's going to happen. That's strictly a hoax. But nonetheless, it will be fairly close. What's interesting is Mars and Earth are in elliptical orbits, not perfectly circular, but they orbit the sun at different speeds. And that's why about every 26 months, Earth and Mars pass close to each other. Some of those periods, they're closer than others. And this particular one on uh, May 30th should be fairly close. And here's the reason that's really nice for those of us here on Earth, even without a telescope. I'll tell you, tonight, here's a good example. The waxing gibbous moon in the southern sky tonight, Jupiter to its right. And in the southeast sky, you'll see it about 9 o'clock, 9.30 low, a very reddish star, that's Mars. And each night between now and May 30th, it'll get brighter and brighter red as it gets higher in the night sky. So Mars putting on a pretty good show, even without a telescope. Should look really nice. Here